dear friends it is an immense privilege to share with you about our congregation in the year 1976 reverend for mc anthony stb sowed the seed for sma congregation with the motto of looking after the most disadvantaged children and abandoned young girls to look after and restore the dignity of the poor and abandoned children especially young girls who are socially materially and spiritually neglected through the compassionate love of our lord jesus christ to restore dignity to equip and empower the most disadvantaged as our target group especially children and abandoned young girls in order to enable them to have a dignified and meaningful life in the society to rejuvenate the face of the church and the society by responding courageously to the present need of the poor and abandoned young girls in the salishan way and the sma spirituality as given by father mc anthony our father and founder The Sisters of Maria Auxiliatrix is a congregation of diocesan rites whose members following a specific charism in the church and practicing the evangelical vows of obedience, chastity and poverty in order to uphold Christian values particularly among the young. Our beloved founder Father MC Anthony SDB left us for his eternal reward on the 23rd of January in 1990 though his sudden demise shocked us we forged ahead taking to heart the motto and the mission inherited from him to carry out pastoral and social activities among the most disadvantaged rural and urban poor to provide shelter and care for the orphans and the abandoned disadvantaged girl children to empower the marginalized the illiterate particularly the women folk through awareness and empowerment programs to focus on the economic upliftment of the rural and the urban poor to create a healthy and hygienic society statistics of the congregation presences 33 professed sisters 150 novices and pre-novice aspirants 33 a full-time vocation promoter along with other sisters visit various zones of catholic pockets for vocation promotion and after evaluating together with the candidate their suitability and further orientation towards religious life they are absorbed into our congregation as aspirants the congregation has been concentrating mainly at rural and slum areas children and young girls at risk women in crisis especially the aged basic christian community groups and self-help groups of mostly women collaboration with other religions the congregation partners with the following dioceses and religious congregations dioceses in tamil nadu kerala west bengal and andhra pradesh salishans of don bosco in tamil nadu three mission stations in italy parish ministry our sisters actively assist in various parish activities such as participation in all spiritual activities of the parishes for the animation of various groups as well as socio economic welfare activities of the needy people and also providing formal and non formal education to the weaker section extending preventive and curative health needs to the marginalized 
running orphanages for children and the destitute aged through hospices. Outreach programs for tribal people. We reached out to people through our 33 mission stations in India as well as overseas which are well equipped with proper infrastructure. Sisters are equipped with updated religious formation relevant to the present context, empowered people through spiritual and developmental activities. Formal and non-formal institutions run to cater to the rural and slum areas to facilitate better educational feasibility for children and youth. Infirmary to provide primary health care at every mission station. Rural and slum-based women have been empowered with income generation training towards poverty alleviation of poor families. Strengthening spiritual formation and better intellectual formation of the sisters to provide quality service in the missions. Establishing and strengthening our lay collaborators forum called Friends of Sisters of Maria Auxilium, FSMA. Training in eco-friendly farming for the rural farmers. Empowering mentally challenged children in the slums and ministry for the prisoners. We have carried out the above mentioned activities in all our mission stations to uplift especially the poor and the marginalized in city-based slums as well as in rural areas by effectively reaching out to them through our manifold and dedicated services. Thank you.